Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Sinful Saturday. Yes, yes, yes. Or should I say Scary Saturday? I don't know. Uh, either way, but uh, I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. All that lovely stuff because life really is too short as is. Please do like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing each and every one of you every time I'm up here doing a review for you guys. Sorry, I'm a little late doing this one. It's been a hectic, hectic couple of days. Uh, surviving on like four hours of sleep and blah, 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 blah. Just busy, busy, busy. But either way, um, I love you guys and I hope that you guys uh, check out today's review as well, or today's movie as well. Um, it is a very interesting one, which I highly suggest. But uh, um, also do like, share, and subscribe before you, before I get on to anything else. And then sometimes in the, or most of the time in the description box, if I find stuff that uh, um, is uh, important information, I'll put that in there for you, such as your cast, uh, your director, runtime of the cut I'm watching, MPA rating, if there is one that exists, which most of the time there isn't with the films that I cover, which is awesome. Uh, also, uh, um, uh, I'll put a brief synopsis in there if I have one. I'm not a writer, folks, so let's just face it that I, I usually write what's on the back of the box for that, for that part. Um, I, I, no shame there. Uh, I can admit my faults, and that is one of them. I am not a writer. Uh, either way, but uh, um, uh, do check check that stuff out um i couldn't find a, a trailer or any any links for any scenes in the movie itself for you guys um it's a russian film from 2011 called zombie infection by alexander shiragazov i believe that's how i pronounce his name he is listed as alex alex wesley in this film as the director um he went under that name for a while it looks like um a good portion of his filmography is under that which i saw that creep show 3 was on there like wow i didn't realize that um uh uh, uh, I didn't know. I, I've i been trying to get a hold of, of Alex uh, uh, today, but uh, um, we've just been kind of like passing like trains in the night type thing. Um, but uh, either way, I wanted to ask him about that. Like, like, did you do a segment or did you do the whole film? I'm not 100%. I would like to know, you know, one of those type things. Because um, that would give me a little more appreciation, I feel, for, for Creepshow 3. Which is um, often talked talked about like in bad bad shape, you know. People don't like it. It's it's not a terrible film. It's not a great film, but it's 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 it is what it is, folks. Let's face it. Um, it's it's like it can be really hard to find, uh, especially right now. I believe I think it's like super out of print. I think the only way you can get it is like some kind of like region free Blu-ray from a different country, uh, which is insane. Um. Uh, 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 I get a little iffy about those kind of ones because it's like, am I actually like buying a legit copy? Is this going to be a hundred percent uncut? Um, is this, uh, going to be what I am actually wanting? Is this, this the product, you know, one of those type of ordeals, uh, either way, you know, um, uh, very, very, uh, um, I get iffy about that kind of thing either way. Uh, anyhow, on to the, on to, uh, today's review, though, uh, uh, that was a long enough intro, I, three and a half minutes, I hope you guys aren't, like, snoozing and, and, and changing the channel already, but, uh, uh, today's movie is fun, it's, it stars Ted Vernon, um, there was a Claudio Fragasso in there, which I, I, I'm a little hesitant to, um, like say he was in it because i heard he was very 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 difficult to work with and um i usually don't like to say things like that but i know claudio has a very very um opinionated uh mind and he he is very um let's say he's stuck on his own he sticks to his guns and he doesn't change change his opinions about things or or anything of that nature which is kind of um i don't like that uh i feel as as a filmmaker or just as a person in general you need to evolve and become something better as you as you're growing older um not not stay stuck on stupid as the saying goes Sorry, Claudio, you know, you do say some stupid, stupid things, you know, like, uh, this is how a minute of teenagers act. Yes, 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 with Troll 2. Bull crap. 
Um, but anyways, I love Troll 2. Don't, don't, don't take that the wrong way, peoples. Uh, it's one of my, it's one of my go-tos when I feel like crap and I want to watch something that is just completely just dumb and, and doesn't make sense, you know. That is one of my go-tos. Uh, that Garbage Pail Kids or Mac and Me. Uh, there's, there's several, several, several different ones that, uh, um, that I, I go through, but that, that's one that I really enjoy. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's in it for like, like literally like 30 seconds. It seems like, you know, he, he has a little dialogue and then he shoots himself in the head. Um, yeah, that was, that was his, his lovely part. It was kind of lame, but, um, uh, he sounded like he was a lame person himself. Uh, too bad. But Ted Vernon, I've heard amazing, amazing, amazing things about about the what is what do they call him? The Wolfman in in Florida, South Florida, I believe is where he's from. Uh, uh, he's he's very cool. I, I I dig his style. You know, uh, he was in the that awesome movie uh, Scarecrows. I forget what year. I should have double checked what year that came out. Uh, but Ted Vernon is in this. He's he plays himself basically and uh he's a uh, a uh, uh kind of like a military-esque type person um very um uh, uh stern and and rigid rigid character very strong you know i i like his character a lot um he goes and visits um his his friend gives him some monies and you know and and you find out like later on what his intentions are and it's it's pretty it's really really um not anything that's going to blow your mind or anything like that. This movie is not mind-blowing. Um, it's not anything um, that's going to be life-changing. But it is nice to watch something from a different country and see their point of view on something that is so popular here in the United States, which is zombie films. Um, uh, my my buddy Kyle is a huge zombie fan, and um, uh, I, I am on the fence with zombie films, I will admit that, uh, uh, I've just been burned one too many times, I feel like, and, and, um, this one is, is fun, um, basically this, uh, this company goes and they dump in a bunch of, uh, uh, poison called Death 3, that is Death 3, yes, 1, 2, 3, um, it is a, uh, um, uh purple liquid it was kind of cool looking like but they're dumping it into this water water supply creates this this these zombies that are are uh they're fun zombies you know they're they're slow they're really they're they're your, your traditional classic like romero-esque type zombies um uh alex said uh told me that uh um two of his favorite um zombie films were uh hell of the living dead which i absolutely love and adore and uh shoot what was the other one it was uh uh not nightmare city um ah crap sorry alex i forgot what the second one was i'll i'll i know i'll remember it somewhere in in here but uh uh hell of the living dead was one of them and you can see a lot of that inspiration on there maybe it was burial ground you know i think it might have been that one which that one is so so good you know the, the italian zombie stuff back in the day in the 80s and 70s were just amazing uh fulci zombie is one of my favorite films of all time uh uh so good but um uh uh they uh you can you can definitely see a lot of that inspiration in in this film uh Romero Fulci uh, uh Matei um uh you can you can you feel that that ambiance that they created and and uh, Alexander picks up the ball and and kind of and he brushes it off and he carries it very well and I really like that um uh he powers through with this um, sorry, I had a had a little hair in my mouth there or something. I don't know what it was, but either way, um, uh, 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 I highly recommend this film. Um, there is a military agent that is at the very beginning uh, sent to Russia to go after uh, Ted Vernon. His character is is really kind of a throwaway character i would say because you don't really get a whole lot of him in my opinion um he's one of those that 
they should have did a little more filming with him, done some more scenes, and added him in, in, there, in there, sprinkled him in a little, little more throughout the middle of the film, because he's only really in it in the beginning and the end. Um, but uh, uh, he meets up with Ted Vernon, and that's his whole thing. He is sent there to kill Ted Vernon. So we, so that kind of sets up something for you there. Uh, it's very, very um, um, easy to follow type film. Uh, as far as uh, the language goes, it's mostly in English. Um, it's in Russian in places, yes. Uh, the the uh, subtitles are, they work, they're fine. Um, they... Uh, they uh have a couple of spots where i don't know maybe it was just the uh um the the cut that i was watching the one that alex sent me online uh it uh um has a couple spots where where the subtitles aren't there or it kind of lags a little bit um the subtitles come popping up uh, a little too late or or they or a little premature they pop up a little too soon so in a little quickly but um uh either way it doesn't take anything away from the movie itself so definitely don't let that frighten you away um uh as far as any kind of ratings would go on this one i'm going to give it on a one through five scale it's going to get a three out of five uh it is middle of the road um it it could be better could be worse um i recommend it you know this is definitely a fun movie especially if you like zombie movies or um you want to check out russian film definitely check this one out um uh uh, if you have any questions, please, please leave me a message. Um, I, I couldn't, f I'm not really sure where to buy copies of this right now because I haven't heard back from Alex yet. Um, so, um, as far as I know, the only way you can get them is probably through him himself, which, um, if any of you have need any direction, it helps with directions on that. Just let me know. I can shoot you his Facebook link. Um, that's that's my my uh, form of, of communication with him. Um, so that's uh, I don't have an email address or or obviously a, a phone number. I'm I don't I don't I don't talk on the phone. Um, I just talk on videos. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful weekend. Um, sorry again for being so late with this, Alex. I would have been up much earlier with it, but like I like I said, it's been an extremely hectic couple, crazy couple days, and um, I really, really do appreciate the opportunity that you gave me to let me review your film. Um, I'm going to be hopefully he'll let me do post apocalyptic um uh, uh post apocalyptic something um. It's a, obviously a post-apocalyptic film. Um, hopefully, um, he'll let me review that one for you guys as well. Uh, uh, I watched it the, the other day, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was really cool, fun, fun little flick as well. Um, I actually kind of liked that one better than this one. But uh, this one has more uh, attention, it seems. All right, guys. So it's been 13 minutes. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I will get the hell out of your faces, and I hope all of y'all have a fantastic weekend.